uh, to type a piecewise function with Microsoft Word. Um, of course, as usual, we're going to only use our keyboards and not needing to go to our mouse and click through uh, options and select things uh, from here one by one, um, as usual. So uh, this is in response, of course, to one of the comments. Um, uh, and thank you for that comment to do this. Uh, this is, uh, I've been procrastinating on this um, uh, particular one for a while because it, there's a bit of subtlety, but I, I think it's a good idea to uh, give me a good excuse to go through. So there are a couple parts to um, to get to be able to type this. Um, of course, the main part is the main brackets, um, the main brackets part, uh, and then there is the alignment part, uh, the alignment of these issues. So for example, uh, able to, of course, if you're familiar with later, you kind of, uh, you may have seen this before. So if I uh, have actually a longer expression over here, um, like this, you see the, the four, the description over here always keeps in alignment. So there's a way of doing that alignment. Um, and also uh, inspection. Um, so I think this is a good place to talk about how to actually inspect your code um, in Word. Uh, so of course, Word has the benefit of the what you type is what you see. Um, uh, sorry, what you see is what you get uh, benefit. So you can uh, just keep typing and you can immediately see the result. So that's the benefit of Word. But sometimes you need to inspect the code. So how do you transform this back into code? Um, so we'll talk about that inspection of the code uh, and a few subtleties. Uh, if I can spell correctly. Okay, so um, let's start with the main brackets. Um, the first two part of main brackets and alignment is relatively easy. Uh, so let me pull out my keyboard uh, just in, for reference. So for example, if I want to type something like this, right? So I have my uh, keys of command equal equal to call out the equation environment, which is slightly different from the default. I have customized that. So um, you can look at my other video about customizing these shortcuts. Um, here, I'll just use them. Uh, so on the left-hand side, let's make the uh, the absolute value first. I this by the way, this is another nice subtlety to talk about. Um, of course, a more linear way to type this is just directly that, right? Um, and then this becomes one object. Uh, however, uh, sometimes I want to take advantage of the uh, what you see is what you get um, benefit of words. So I would type this first, uh, and then a space, and that gives me this little uh, dotted box, and I can start typing uh, whatever I like in here. Sometimes it's more complicated than just um, just x, and uh, you might find some use if I want to, for example, type a whole integral over here. Um, and so, and I want to do a space and then uh, type in the integrand um, looking for Cauchy Schwartz identity kind of thing here. Anyway, um, distraction aside, uh, now that we have the left hand side, we're going to open the brackets. And there's two ways to go about this. There is a quick way and a more sort of formal linear way. Um, let's go with the more linear way first is to use the equation array. Um, so we type equal array like that. And what open brackets, you see as soon as I type um, the open round brackets, this little command becomes a little box. Um, it's just a feature that tells you that Word has processed it. Um, it understood that you're trying to create some sort of matrices um, or equation array <laughs> here. Um, okay, so now you need to know how many rows you need. Um, it doesn't matter if you undercount it. Um, you can always add rows. I'll show you that in a moment as well. So every time you need, so for example, if I need three rows, it means I need to split two lines. Every time you need to split a line, you hit a add. Uh, you add a uh, add symbol over here. So if I need three rows in total, I need to uh, type whatever I need here. Um, type an add whatever I need here for second row. Type an add and type whatever I need here for the third row. Um, I usually take advantage of the words um, the, of Microsoft Words. What you uh, what, what you uh, see is what you get kind of um, feature. So I don't type everything yet. Um, yeah, I just close my brackets. I'll fill in the blanks once I've created the rows I need. Okay. So now uh, what you need is a close. You can close this as well. Okay. So now you hit space. You'll see this. Uh, couple things happen. You first of, see, first of all see that these blank rows have been created. Secondly, you see this close argument becomes a little symbol. Um, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But then you see the brackets over here. It's not expanded yet. Uh, you just need to hit one more time, space. Right. Now you see that disappears. The close symbol disappears. And then the bracket expands over here. So one thing I like to do is I like to insert my cursor. I should not use my mouse. I should be using my uh, keyboard. Right. So I'll use my arrow keys to navigate back um, to sort of just in between, you can see just in between the columns and the um, the brackets over here. Now hit a space just to give myself a little space over here. I didn't do it here, which I probably should. I just feel it looks a little bit better other than the whatever symbols. If I don't have the minus sign, you see it feels a little cramp with the minus sign. It's a bit better. I can undo. Um, but even better is just give it a little more breathing room here. Right. So now I can uh, type in whatever I need. So um, of course, if I type four x less than zero, this doesn't look good for the four because it's treating it as a variable. So here's some subtlety tips: is if you put little double quotes around, you've probably seen this in other videos already, and hit space, it becomes a English word, right? So it becomes a normal text. So I can type this four x equal to zero. Um, you may notice you need extra spacing sometimes uh, because if I hit space here and just type x, everything sticks together because the first space only processes that double quote. It's the second space that actually gives you the extra space. But these are things I mean. Um, you, uh, you sort of just play with it a while and you get used to its temperament and you'll understand its behavior. Okay, so now uh, we'll go to the end um, and that's sort of the main brackets done. So uh, we need to talk about alignment a little bit 
more because you see the four is not aligned over here unlike this um, and that's easy uh, I in front of this I actually need to type an ampersand type this and symbol in front of where you want to align so I want the F for uh, to align right I want all these F to be aligned um, I could align it at a comma sign if I want as well or uh, but uh, it works well with F so I'm gonna add this and sound you've seen nothing happen um, but it's there um, if you look at my keyboard over here you'll see I've typed it so I'll uh, put my cursor here again type and um, and scroll down and type and one more time so you see the moment I hit and this aligns the form um, I need a little bit of spacing just to make it nicer uh, so I can hit a few space um, these spaces are in after the and so basically what is happening is I'm typing some space like this um, and so this is what I'm going for Sorry for the confusing words <laughs> for happening a lot over here. So this is what I'm I'm aiming at. Okay, let's say that. So I know there's a hidden and in front of uh, the F. So I'm just adding some. Oops. Um, it's a bit finicky. Sometimes you. Uh, that's how you know um, what I've been typing is actually the spaces in front of it. That's why it was a bit wonky earlier. So if that happens, for example, um, you see my cursor. Uh, if if it looks a bit wonky, that means I'm actually typing the spaces in front of that. Uh, so go undo that and hit your right arrow one more time. Right that goes past the little implicit and symbol now you can type uh, the spaces there so you see it's a bit wonky uh, hit the right arrow once and you're fine okay so um that's one way you can go, uh, go about it now let's talk about some tricks um we've talked about the brackets the alignment um first of all uh it, it's a bit finicky as i said uh, how how you just have to gauge where that part is it's a nicer way is to actually inspect the code so you know exactly where you're typing so if you hit lin um go to linear you will transform this whole thing into basically the code. Uh, this is actually as far as it gets for instead of expanding it all the way to equal way and close, it just gives you this Unicode symbol. Um, but that's the best you can do. I've just retyped it here just for instruction wise. And now you can see those hidden ands, right? That is being typed. So this is the actual code you see. Um, yeah, the ands basically deals with the alignment. This is similar to LaTeX. Uh, the app turns um, into a mixed row like this, right? So hopefully this kind of makes sense. Um, if you want to go back to the display version, you just go professional all this transform everything um either all professional or just professional both would work so go back to this place so what i do is of course i create a shortcut for this as well so all i have to do is make sure my cursor is within the equation environment hit my um shortcut i can expand it to inspect the code hit my other shortcut goes back so the shortcut i use is um command uh square brackets for opening um the opening the code and command close square brackets to do that um so we can go to tools customize keyboard um, go to all you can check my other video about uh, how to customize keys um, keyboard shortcuts more in more detail and you can find how to uh, you can find the function equation professional all uh, so this is a bit weird why it shows that um, and equation linear if I can find it um, linear one, there we go uh, I think I saved it somewhere there we go uh, equation linear one so I have to command open brackets over here um, and equation professional I can limit this further one there we go uh, I did, sorry I misremembered it's not all that I made I made it um, so that I can inspect the code one by one over here so you can set those up and then uh, remember it doesn't do anything you see if I do these two shortcuts it doesn't do anything if my cursor is not in the equation environment that's the only thing you have to navigate there um, and then you can use these two codes to inspect that and finally um, a few subtleties and a few tips um, is sometimes you don't need to type everything at once like I said you can type uh, what you need uh, as you go so what I sometimes do is I just open the bracket and close it immediately um, you see this two symbols together hit space one more time and it expands up this um, blank space then here if I type uh, return or enter it actually creates a new row right so I, if I need three rows I do this I use my arrows keys to navigate give myself a little bit of spacing and I can type whatever I need here okay so for example let's uh, let's give this a try for example I can type X um, actually I just need two rows now uh, if you can't there isn't an easy way to um, there's an easy way to expand use enter to to create more rows but there isn't an easy way to delete the rows so you either have to go back into the code which now you now you understand what's happening over here um, <laughs> and process it back you either have to do that or just use um, command Z and uh, control Z to undo and just start over again um, that way okay so uh, I'll type that and I'll type an and you won't see it here but it happened <laughs> trust me maybe I'll add four space uh, oops and x larger or equal to zero as you can see this processes itself um, semicolon use my down arrow down here minus x comma one two oh sorry before I do the four space I need an and and then one two three four otherwise close it 
space and uh, semicolon if I want to or mimic this exactly or this will stop would just do it fine. Okay, so these are some tricks and uh, tips. Hopefully this has been useful. Um, let me know if it, it is a little bit um, complicated. There's a lot of subtleties in here. If I miss anything related to this topic, anything that I haven't covered, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, uh, elaborate on that. All right, hope this is useful. Um, have a great day.